I know what you're thinking. One minute into the review, and I already gave it the Void Park. It's not normal that I do this, but I think you already know how I feel about the movie from the title and thumbnail. And unfortunately, it was obvious from the beginning, but the Borderlands movie was just completely barred. Hey there, YouTube lovers. My name is BB-8, and today we are going to review the Borderlands movie. I really didn't want to watch this movie because I heard from a lot of people that this movie was bad before even watching it. But unfortunately, since this is a video game movie, and I practically do a review for every video game movie that releases, I couldn't skip this one. And unfortunately, I hated it. And it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that I hate it. But why did I hate the Borderlands movie? Well, you're about to find out. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? I'm not gonna put a spoiler warning in front of the review, only because I know a bunch of people out there aren't even going to care for the film. And with that being said, let's get into the review. Starting off with the story. The story sucks. I just found the story completely boring. And I'm not even going to lie, since I've never played the Borderlands games, I can't say if some plot elements were BS or not. Such as that scene at the end of the movie where Lilith gets Fire wings. Now back to the story. The story of the Borderlands movie is just completely unoriginal. Since we have seen the fugitive on the run story multiple times in cinema. And I think it didn't need to be done again. But this time with Tiny Tina instead. Because at the beginning of the movie, Roland frees Tiny Tina and Krieg from a space station, and now they're on the run because of it. And Lilith kind of has her own side plot of being a bounty hunter and exploring her origins from the planet of Pandora. And unfortunately, the story is poorly written and has issues with its pacing. I'd say it has issues with its pacing because one, they just get straight into the movie without, you know, giving any form of explanation for the film's characters whatsoever, because only Lilith and Tiny Tina are developed in it, with Kevin Hart's Roland, Jack Black's Claptrap, and Craig not getting any form of development at all, which I think it was kind of stupid to do. And unfortunately, the fight scenes in it weren't that good either. But that's to do with the visual effects. We'll get that out of the way. And unfortunately, this film is just an overall mess in terms of the plot. It's like the fight scenes weren't very good. It just moves on to a fight scene without any context for it. And unfortunately, I've never played the game, so some parts of it are just not that easy to explain. The humor is unfunny and cringe, and I did not laugh one time I even watched this movie. The Yorine scene where Roland is like driving a van and, and Tiny Tina has the window open. I did not laugh at that scene at all. And even though I find Jack Black funny in a majority of his roles, not this time. And I feel like any time Claptrap is on screen and every other character just ignores his existence. Just like Ricky Gervais, the talking dog from Spy Kids 4. Remember that garbage movie? Claptrap is just neglected by every other character in the movie and is treated like Ricky Gervais, the talking dog. Now we're moving on to the visual effects in the movie. The visual effects in this movie were mostly bad, since I think the movie was poorly green screened in most of the scenes it was used. The holograms look very bad visually. Within the movie, you will see holograms be used as like masks or a disguise. And I feel like CGIing a hologram 
onto another character's face. It just looked pretty bad. I'm sorry to say this, it just did. And the holograms, no matter where it's used in the movie, it just looks terrible. And what doesn't help is the set design felt cheap and something you would see out of a TV or streaming movie, not in a movie that belongs in cinemas. Like, I kind of don't know why, I just feel like this movie belongs in on a streaming platform. It feels like something that belongs out of a Netflix original movie. And the only positive I have with the visual effects is probably the visual effects on the different creatures and Claptrap. Which is probably my only positive with the whole movie and that's it. I don't have anything positive to say about the film apart from the CGI on the different creatures and Claptrap. And finally, we're on to the characters. The characters in this movie have little to no development at all, and these characters are not even considered characters, since characterization requires mental qualities distinctive to an individual. And I mean, people who have not played the games are not going to know who these characters are. And I don't know who they are, because I've never played them. So I'll only know little about the lore behind any of the characters in this movie. Not to mention that the casting choices were probably some of the laziest I've seen in a movie all year. Especially Kate Blanchett and Jamie Lee Curtis, who are 30 years older than their characters in the games. I only know this information through research, and Kevin Hart does not fit Roland at all. And even though I like Jack Black in a majority of what he's in, I just feel like the Borderlands movie completely neglected Claptrap. But never mind the characters themselves, a big issue with the characters in the movie is that all of them are so underdeveloped since i feel like this movie draws too much attention to kate blanchett's lilith and ariana greenblatt's tiny tina since lilith has a backstory about being given up by her mother because of her power to use fire wings at the end of the movie and as you can tell, if it doesn't correctly align, I've forgotten a majority of what happens in the movie already. I'm not joking. And Tiny Tina is used more like a plot device for the whole movie, since I thought she was the key to opening up the vault, but the whole movie, it was Lilith that was the key to opening the vault. All the characters in the movie feel useless to the film's story. Like, Roland is the one who freed Tiny Tina and Krieg from the space station and felt useless for the rest of the movie from that point. Dr. Tannis, who is supposed to be portrayed as a smart character, is more portrayed like an idiot in the film compared to the games. And I hate it when characters are dumbed down to complete idiots. Claptrap, despite being played by Jack Black, is just neglected by everyone in the movie, since the characters at times just pretend he isn't there. Anytime he talks, no one responds, and he does the most idiotic things to get the attention of the characters, like hopping in the shower. That was just a complete idiotic thing to do. And I get that Krieg is like the box art mascot of Borderlands, but I feel like outside of being a bodyguard for Tiny Tina, he is practically useless and had no reason to be there whatsoever. And the characterization in Borderlands was just banned, thanks to most of the characters being undercooked and underutilized. And people who haven't played the games are just not going to care for these characters at all, since they have no qualities or personality traits that makes me want to connect with them. Maybe the games have better characterization than the movie, but overall, the characterization in the Borderlands movie was just bad. I I'm sorry, but the film just has bad characterization. Borderlands has officially received the lowest score I have ever given anything in BB-8 self-reviews, even surpassing Enchanted Portals, 
which released last year. Because unfortunately, this movie is everything a Borderlands movie should not be. The only good thing I even have to say about it is the CGI on the different creatures and Claptrap. Everything else was just a horrible mess. Of course it gets the Void Perk! You knew this from the beginning of the video. But overall, I give the Borderlands movie a 2 out of 10. A 2 out of 10. I don't recommend watching this movie at all. This is the worst post-Detective Pikachu video game movie you can watch. It's so bad, I don't even recommend the fans watch this. This feels like a movie that belongs on streaming, not in cinemas. And that proves how bad it is. One of the worst movies I've had the displeasure of sitting through this year. At the ranks of Man and Web and Mega Mind vs the Doom Syndicate. I've never even played a Borderlands game, but after watching this movie, it has kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. At the end of the day, I regret watching Borderlands, and that is one hour and 41 minutes of my whole life I'm never getting back to this movie, because Borderlands is a prime example of a video game that does not work in live action. And if Borderlands is ever adapted again, make sure that it's R-rated, animated, and the people making it have actually played the games next time. Because this film is a prime example on why you never hire Avi Arad to produce a movie. Do I think this film will bomb? Hell yes! Given that Borderlands has a low Rotten Tomato score and Deadpool and Wolverine, which is actually a good movie and way better than this piece of crap, is actually killing it at the box office right now, and no one is probably going to give one, about Borderlands. It's the only time in my whole life I'm even going to bother watching this. Because if I'm being honest, I'm never watching this movie ever again. And even if you are a Borderlands fan, you will regret watching this movie. Borderlands is currently my fifth least favorite movie of the whole year. Behind Saving Bikini Bottom, a Sandy Cheeks movie, Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver, Mega Mind vs. The Doom Syndicate, and Madam Web. While not a 1 out of 10 like these four, I just think Borderlands is a horrible mess. And I don't think these characters will return on the big screen anytime soon. Since I'm hoping we never see this version of the Borderlands ever again, considering how the film has got negative reviews and it's performing poorly in the box office in comparison to Deadpool and Wolverine, I don't think we are going to get a sequel to the Borderlands movie, and I so hope not. So guys, what do you think of the Borderlands movie? Unfortunately, as awful as the Borderlands movie was, I'm, I'm just hoping to move on with my life. Now, like I've never seen this movie at all, and next week's BB-8 House Reviews is going to be slightly better than the Borderlands movie. Even though it's not a great game, I will be reviewing Concord from my experience from the beta next week. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video, BB-8 out.